In this video, we're going to talk about SEO, Google, and how you can use it to grow your detailing business and any local business at that because this is applicable across all local based businesses. So what is SEO? Well, it's search engine optimization. And in this video, we're specifically referring to Google as Google owns like 85% of the market share in the US at least. Um, so anytime anyone searches for something, they're going to use Google. But search engines are basically anything that you actually search in and it gives you some type of results based on their own algorithm. So things like Bing is also a search engine, Yelp is also a search engine, Amazon is also a search engine, Quora is also a search engine. These are all search engines that you can use to find something that you want. But again, for local businesses like ourselves, we're gonna be using, I'm gonna be referring to specifically Google as that's just the household name that as of now everyone uses in the US at least. So with Google, you have search engine optimization and the goal as the business owner is getting your web website ranked on the first page of Google so you can generate traffic, leads, and sales. So traffic are just people like you and I that go to Google searching for a solution or more information on something, clicking around on a few websites and then calling or finding out more information about those businesses through their website. And you can think about just about any local business, any local service. And at this point, it's, you know, you're going to use Google to some degree to always find a solution, right? Whether it's just like you want to find a funny article or a funny meme, you're, you're, you're searching in Google or YouTube to find a solution to your problem, right? Even if it's, you just want to laugh at something, you have a, you know, right now your problem is you want to laugh, you go to YouTube or Google and you want to find something funny. So to some degree, you are always, you're always finding a solution to something, right? Whether it's transactional or just information, you are always finding a solution to something that you're dealing with. So if us as local businesses, let's say you have a, you know, a dentist office, then it's as simple as, you know, if I'm the person that my teeth are hurting, I just moved into town, I need a new dentist, I'm tired of my old dentist, whatever the case may be, if I'm just looking for a dentist in my area, and let's say I live in Austin, what do you think me as the potential patients that's looking for a new dentist, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go to Google and simply start with something generic like dentist in Austin. And I'm gonna start basing off my research like this and I'm simply just gonna go through the first page and see what's available around me. Now, there's quite a few things that we'll see here on the first page. Um, for instance, these top four results here, these are actually ad placements. Uh, this, is, this is the Google Ads platform. Uh, which is pay-per-click advertising, PPC. And businesses, companies are paying to be on, on, the, on these first four spots here. So you see this little green box here that says add, 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 and add. These are all, they're either paying anywhere between, let's say like a dollar to like 20 bucks per click to be on the first page of Google. Now this isn't search engine optimization. This is pay-per-click advertising. So people are paying, businesses are paying to be here on the first page of Google. That's not what we're after here. Still a great strategy to use uh, pay-per-click advertising, but this isn't what we're covering in this specific video. If we scroll down, this the first result that we see here, it has quite a few different names. It has the local snack pack, the local three pack, the local map pack, plenty of, th uh, of, of things that, that they call it. Um, I just call it the local three pack. Uh, that's just what I've seen most. Um, so this is the local three pack. This is search engine optimization. None of these businesses that are placed here are paying for this for these results here. Now, every now and then you will see an ad placement on this box here, but you'll clearly know it's an ad because it says the word ad. These these businesses and companies are not paying to be on this place here in this local three pack. They've optimized their website, they've done the proper things, or maybe they just got lucky, I don't know. And they were able to get on the local three pack. And this box here, just this small box, gets a lion's share of the clicks to these three websites because it's so prevalent, right? It's like it's right there in your face. You can see the geolocation of where they are. You can base it on, you know, you're going to have a, a relative um, uh, information of like how far they are from you. So these three businesses here get probably a lion's share of the clicks amongst these other 10 to 15 um, links that are on the first page of Google. So if we scroll down, these, so you have the, the local three pack, then you come down to the organics, which these are both still organic, but that's just how they call it. So this is still the organic listings. And these are 10 website links 
that have also optimized their website. They're not paying for ads. They're not paying for anything. They just optimize their website to be on the first page of Google for keyword like dentist in Austin. So if we keep on scrolling just a bit more to the very bottom, you'll once again see what? Three more ads of ad placements, ad, ad, and ad. So in the big picture, you have ads, you have the local three pack, you have your 10 organic listings, and at the very bottom, you have another three paid advertisements. Now, you're, it's not always gonna be the same cookie cutter method every single time. There'll be times where you search for something and the first, uh, and there might be no ads, there might be one ad, there might be two ads. You might scroll down all the way to the bottom and again, there might be no ads, there might be one ad, there might be three ads. It's always gonna change depending on, you're not, you're not gonna have much control for this. It's on their algorithm, on your browser history, on what you search for, on your geolocation compared to what you're searching for. There's so many factors that go into how the first page is gonna look that you know what I'm searching for, even if we search for the same keyword, we're not gonna get the same results based off of what I just mentioned. So there's so many factors that go into you know the results that you'll see and how it's gonna be displayed to you. So it's never gonna be just a one cookie cutter method uh, across you know all searches, all devices, all cities, all states. Um, so that's that, that's good to keep in mind. Now going back to myself, that I'm the patient and I'm looking for a new dentist. So me specifically, right? Like what I specifically do when it comes to looking for a provider of some sort or a solution to something, I always simply just start opening up links left and right. Like if, if they look even, you know, half decent, I'm just gonna open up the link to see what they have to offer. So with these this local three pack, um, I see that they have great reviews, right? 53 reviews, 77 reviews, and 64 reviews. So I can already tell, like, okay. To some degree, a lot of people trust them because they have so many good, you know, they have so many good five-star reviews. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just, I just literally start opening up the websites, and now I've opened them up into three different, into three other tabs, so I can review them. And that's how it's gonna be with most of your customers, where they're not gonna click on one website, look at one website's information, call that one website, and then book with that one website. There's gonna be quite a few other steps that take, take that they take on their end before they make their decision. And as you as a detailer or as whatever business you're running, you wanna have the best, most useful, relevant information on your website to provide, to give them the best um, content, to give the best answers, to make their decision on who they wanna go for. So if I open up these three websites, what, you know, in my head right now, there's nothing specific that I'm looking for, right? I just know that I need a dentist, right? I just know that I need a detailer. Someone needs a higher detailer. Someone needs a higher an HVAC. Someone needs to hire a lawn mowing company. Someone needs to hire a lawyer. It's just right now, if, if I don't have any prior knowledge of what detailing is or how it works, but I know I need my car cleaned, I'm just kind of going in a very general direction, trying to see what company, what website has the information I kind of need, provides the best information, and then I can start making my decisions based off of that. So if I'm looking for a dentist in my area, I'm simply just gonna start reading their homepage and clicking around on the links. And this is very important because you, as the business owner, you want your website to be your online salesperson. You want your website to provide the most, like I said, the best, useful, most relevant information to the people landing on your page. So is that gonna happen by you simply having 100 words on your homepage and thinking you're gonna book a lot of customers? No, because why? If someone has no prior knowledge of detailing, if someone has never had their car detailed, if they don't have a recommendation of a close friend or family member about a detailer, then what are they gonna base their decision off of? They don't know anything about detailing, they don't care about reading up on detailing because that's why they wanna hire someone, they don't have that much time, and they wanna get it done now. So they're basing all their, their, their knowledge, their information, their decision making based on what they find on your website. And if your website provides the best information, compared to the other two, three, four websites that they click on, click on, then you have a much higher chance of landing that customer or at least getting them to call you because of how your website is set up. And notice how powerful that is because I'm searching in Google for a local dentist, right? Someone is searching in Google in your area for your detailing services. You're not going out there passing out business cards. You're not passing out flyers. You're not going to trade shows. You're not going to the car shows. People every month in Google saying, hey look, I have a dirty car. I wanna get it cleaned. I don't wanna do it myself. I don't mind paying. Let me go to Google and find someone to come do it for me. And now after they look at two, three, four different websites, they read all the information, 
They're going to give you a call, maybe ask you a few questions just because they have a few more questions, and then they're, they're willing to book. And if you set everything up correctly, they're already sold at least 80% on your services by the time they call you. If you have your website set up, if you're optimizing the website correctly, by the time they call you, they've already read your reviews, saw your before and afters, saw all of your work, read your content, they're sold on you. Now they just have a few more questions that they need to ask you in order to move forward and book in your calendar. And that's why SEO is so important is because you literally have all your potential customers going into Google saying, I'm looking to hire someone who is going to be the person that I hire. And it's based on everything I just covered in this video. That's why it's such a powerful positioning strategy or marketing channel is because they're coming to you. They have a problem. They're aware of the problem and they're coming to you for the solution. You just have to give yourself the chance to be that solution by ranking your website on the first page of Google. So that's going to conclude this video. I'll be covering more SEO videos later down. Um, so don't worry, I'll be covering as many areas of SEO that I can to help you grow your business. If you have any questions, comments, feedback on this video or anything SEO related, leave those in the comment section down below. Uh, remember to check that guide in the description box and I'll see you on the next video.